What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Mon Bazoo. Now I know this is only the second episode in this series, but if you guys are enjoying this one thus far, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Helps me know that you guys would like to see more of games like this. But in that initial episode, we really just got the lay of the land and we didn't even really travel all that far. But we were able to sort of piece together the E36 BMW, which is actually in-game called the Koenig I'm probably going to still say E36, let's be honest. But we have a few tasks that I would hopefully like to accomplish today, starting off with buying the tire pump from the gas station. We did try to do that as well in the previous episode, but by the time we got there, it was nighttime, and of course, they were closed. So we're going to try to head there bright and early this morning. I could have swore I already threw the gas can in there because, believe it or not, we're going to need gas, like ASAP Alapagus. Uh, over here, you can see we are very, very quickly running out of fuel in our generator, which is our only source of power at the moment for our uh, very nice-looking trailer here. With that being said as well, you guys may notice it is 11 a.m., so it is the perfect time to hop in the truck and make our way into town to hopefully find the gas station first try. Dude, I don't even know how we got so lucky. Okay, I always forget to do that. I don't even know how we got so lucky last time finding that. But we are gonna hit third gear in the red pick -em up truck and make our way down this dirt road up until we hit the pavement. And then I believe we're gonna hang a right. And then once we travel on the pavement for a little bit, it should be a left, if I remember correctly. Now that's only gonna get us to town. I don't even know how to navigate to the gas station from there, so we'll just have to sort of figure that out once we uh, once we get to that point. But wishing you guys a very, very happy Monday today. Hopefully no one has a case of the Mondays. That's always the worst. Very, very typical on a Monday. But uh, big, big thank you to all of you that wished me a happy birthday over the weekend. Uh, my 24th birthday was this past Saturday. So again, all the people in the Discord that that reached out and, and wished me a happy birthday. I really do appreciate that, you guys. It means a great deal to me, way more than you might believe. So this is the right-hander. There we go, and then, okay, now I remember a little bit. We have this sort of guardrail over here. Comes up on you pretty quick. I'm gonna hang a left, and then all we have to do now is just follow the road. Pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And we have made it into town, officially. Now, from this point, this is where I'm, like, really lost. I don't know as I don't know if it's an immediate left here. Of course, that can't be right, because this is a dirt road. But we could go right, maybe, around these big silos and stuff. I want to say it was... Of course, I don't know what direction this is. I want to say it was this way from the church, if I remember correctly, or the cathedral. So let's go down this road real quick. Dude, it's got to be like right around here gotta be um let's go oh wait 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 this building looks familiar we got the church bells going off in the background no dude i'm total i'm totally turned around i have no idea where i am absolutely not a clue dude this is the worst eventually we'll you know understand the lay of the land a little bit better it's over here dude i i know it's over here We've gone way too far to the right, so we need to hang a left, maybe? Around here somewhere. I don't get it. I don't get it. I remember being able to, oh no, you know what it was? I was seeing the cathedral from the front, not the side, so it's over this way. And then hang a right onto this, there it is. There it is. Okay, we're good. We're good. We've only put two miles on the truck so far. Just driving it into town. Let's go ahead and park next to the pump. Just to, you know, easy, easy access, right? Easy access. Let's put her into neutral. Put the parking brake down, and we are good to go, dude. Oh, we should we should probably turn you off. There we go. Alrighty. And then this. Uh we just unscrew with with right click. Nice. Pretty easy. And then what do we have here? We have super or I don't know. I don't know what that says. Not. Sans definitely means not. Or maybe un. So unleaded and, and super. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I wish I wish I knew more French. I really, really do. So let's see. Price difference here. Or maybe this is diesel? 
And this is... Uh, maybe, maybe we want to look into this before I fill the truck with the wrong type of fuel. They're so close in price, though. It can't be that different. Let's go with... Oh, I'm going to make a big mistake here, you guys. I'm going to make the biggest mistake of my life. But I'm going to pick up Super. And, and we're going to fill this thing on up. Oh, do we... Oh, we have to actually hold it. Interesting. Oakley dokley. Now, this isn't actually what we wanted to fuel, although I do think it's important. Keep her on going here. We're up to 27, 28, 29, 30 dollars. There it is. All right, she is full as can be. Go ahead and put that thing back. And then we'll screw the fuel cap back on. Perfect. Okay, the jerry can. I forgot to get the jerry can. Oh, my. That is, that is so like me. That is so like me. can see their hours are also in French, so that doesn't really help us either. I'm going to assume it starts with Monday. Yeah, because they'd be closed on Sundays, probably. Just an assumption. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Got it. All right, we can, we can just go off of that. Maybe we don't even need to learn French. Here we have a Koenig Performance crate engine just chilling in here for uh, right around 5,000 buckaroonies. No idea what this is. Oh, tire changer. Okay, that makes sense. $15 per use. And we have some different exhaust options over here. This is incredible, dude. There's so much more customization to the E36 than I thought there would be. Honestly, didn't think any of this stuff would have actually existed. Got some calipers, some rotors. Uh, there's the tire pump. Okay, so we need... We only have 66 bucks, and this thing costs 44 All right. Yeah. There we go. That is one item off the to-do list though uh so that's good right you can't beat that well you could but that would be weird so let's see what else they got in here i'm gonna keep closing the door because i know you guys probably run in the ac uh how to pronounce your name sir this is the french version of jack i think correct me if i'm wrong on that so i believe they would say jacques right because they they tend to end their like names and stuff that are spelled this way with an uh jaca is what i'm going with anyways hopefully that's remotely correct we'll see and then we have norman back there okay thanks for having a normal name norman appreciate that oh and then look at all the wheels dude custom wheel five tuned wheel that's the one i think we're gonna go with uh whenever we can purchase new wheels of course but that is that is a real looker right there in the center i'm a fan i'm a fan some sway bars strut bars uh, steering wheels as well and an underglow kit for 69.99 these prices are just incredible absolutely incredible we got a an additional adjustable spanner if we needed that some summer tires they're they're all summer tires and then we have a comfy seat for the e36 some spray paint all right well i think we've seen all the oh no we haven't i was gonna say i think we've seen all that we need to see in here this is an integra it doesn't look like it actually moves. Get wrecked. I love the license plate. I love the license plate. And then, yep, as expected, I was thinking this was a Subaru at first. The license plate definitely uh, definitely sells that. Scooby. Gotta love it. I don't know if this is a 22B necessarily. I believe those only came in that sort of blue, you know, the stereotypical Subaru blue color. But um, I don't know. I, I've never seen a body style of this Subaru that wasn't a 22B. But that is neither here nor there. We're definitely not uh, definitely not shopping around for any new cars at the moment. Jacques and Norman, I appreciate it, brothers. I really do. We'll be back. We uh, thankfully filled up the truck, but I was kind of a bonehead and forgot the jerry can before we left. So let's head back home. We'll grab that. And we'll see these guys here before too long. Oh, parking brake. My god, every time. Every time. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not a bonehead, dude. We did throw it in the truck. It just fell out somewhere. I was I was honestly not paying attention for that on my way back to the house. So I have no idea where it could possibly be. This this is just great. <laughs> this is just Great. Okay, parking brake off. I guess I'll uh, I'll just keep my eyes peeled, sort of, while we're en route back to the back to the gas station. 
God. That is unreal. I should have just put it in the cab with me. I don't know why I didn't. Well, the good news is I didn't see it anywhere on the road on the way back to town. The bad news is that means we lost it somewhere in town, which really sucks because it would have been way easier to find sort of on the main strip there. So I'm just going to kind of retrace my steps here and, uh, and try to go the exact route that we traveled when we initially came to town. I don't think we're going to have very good of uh, odds finding this thing, I'll be honest, but that's not going to stop me from looking. Oh my god, there it is. Oh my god, I see it. I see it. Yes, okay. We're good, dude. We're golden. We're golden. And we're actually pretty close by to the uh, the gas station as well. There we go. I love how we don't have a seatbelt either. Let's. I'm going to put it into the cabin. I'm going to put it into the cab with us. That way we can see it at all times, and it will never leave our sight again. What a nightmare. Okay, so the gas station is going to be down this street to the right. So, funny enough, on my way out of town, I found a much, much easier route, uh, or much, much faster way, I suppose, to get to the gas station. And uh, thankfully, it's like right off of the, the main strip going in through town. Literally just have to hang a left and, and we would have been there like eons ago, but there we go. Let's go ahead and turn her off, engage the parking brake, and, and we'll hop out. Hopefully be able to fill this jerry can up with quite a bit of fuel here. Pick that boy up. Perfect. All right. And since we went with super fuel in the truck, I think we're probably going to fill this thing with super fuel as well. Um, now I just need to figure out if there's something we need to do, like unscrew on this. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Got that. And now if we grab this boy, we should be able to... Nope, that's not crouch. There we go. Fill her on up. Oh yeah, dude, we'll have plenty of money. We'll have plenty of money for this. I love how you can actually see the fuel level, too, visibly. That's, that's pretty nice. Alright, let's throw that back on there. Get this thing screwed back together, and I think we're we're ready to go. We are ready to go. So I don't know, should we be careful about, like, having this thing tip over? Like, are we going to lose fuel from doing that? Or uh, or what's the scoopty on that hoopty? I suppose we'll probably put it on the, on the floor over there, just in case. Just in case. And then what do we got back here? Oh, a hoist puller. So that's like a, like a personal winch, because the truck doesn't actually have a winch if we get stuck for whatever reason. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. I think we can use that to actually um, sort of, you know, get ourselves out of sticky situations like that. So, awesome. All right, well, let's, uh, let's head back home then, because I don't think we need anything else from here. Although our next job is going to be finding our... Oh, parking brake, dude, every time, I swear it. Our next job is going to be finding our brother... Francis, which no idea where he lives, no idea how to find that out. We may be referencing the wiki, which I might do before we leave town, because there's there's a possibility he lives here in town somewhere. Oh, well, this is helpful. Listen to this, and I quote, he can be found on his porch, Francis, he can be found on his porch Monday through Saturday. Doesn't actually say where his freaking house is, though, dude. There was at least a little photo of him. Oh my god. Every time, <laughs> every time, there was at least a little photo of him. His front door is definitely red, and it kind of looked like maybe the, the exterior of his property was white, uh, or, or black, maybe. I know those are two very, very different colors. I just can't remember what I just saw is all. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Not only, you guys, listen to this. Not only did we just lose, not too long ago, our jerry can, which is now, thankfully, in the cab, but I didn't even realize we lost the tire pump on our way back home. Oh, I'm just, I'm gonna put that in there, dude. That, uh, uh, just, I can't win. I can't win. But you know what? All things considered, this is, is way less painful to play than my summer car was. I can tell you that for sure. Let's hang a left here. I do see a few different properties. None of these have a front porch though, so maybe we should be looking for just a property with a porch. That's probably a better idea. A few moments later. I don't know. 
I I have no idea. No idea how to read this thing, dude. But uh, I have a feeling that he's not in town. I just have this this gut feeling that our brother is is not living in this town. And it's it's already past the time where he's going to be on his front porch. So that might be something we'll have to save for another day entirely, dude. Like another in-game day. I mean, not not another episode. Don't freak out. I'm going to keep doing I'm going to keep doing some laps here though, just to make sure I've I've ruled out every single house out here. And then uh, then we'll head back home, go to bed. We'll try again tomorrow. I don't know why I didn't even think about this until just now. We, we just passed our property, but it's very, very possible that our own brother could live like just down the street from us. So I'm gonna head down this direction and we'll see what we can find out here. It looks like there's a T intersection. So maybe we slow down and hang a left. Ooh, getting a little frame drop over here. No, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. That goes to a completely different area. Oh, the frames are bad, dude. The frames are bad. Okay, let's try. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's try over here, maybe. Just a little bit further. Oh, there's a house. There's a house. Oh, it's got a red door. It's got a red door, dude. That is it. That is it. Okay, so he does. Turns out, he does actually just live right down the street from us. We're not going to go over there right now, just because we don't actually have any way of actually talking to him since he's not out on his front porch. So we'll just try again in the morning, bright and early. The next morning. All right, we grabbed a little bit of maple syrup before we headed off to bed. It is now 3.42 in the morning and we gotta go turn on the old generator so we can save. Saving actually, for whatever reason, makes you skip forward time even more. Oh, we're gonna have to fill that thing up with fuel like yesterday. But, uh, oh, I didn't even notice this, dude. Happy Valentine's Day from the dev, Santa Goat. That's that's very nice, very sweet. But uh, we gotta we gotta turn that thing on so we can actually save, and hopefully it'll skip forward enough time to where Francis will actually be on his porch. This thing, dude. This thing has the best boot time of any computer I've ever used, even in real life. And I mean that. I don't actually mean that. I, I'm just pulling that completely out of my bum. And there we be. Game saved, 7.45 a.m. Oh, let's go ahead and turn off the lights. We'll toggle the generator kill switch as well so we don't use any more fuel. Oh, dude, we are on E. Okay, while we're here, Francis can wait. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, I forgot we put everything in the, in the cab. Francis can wait. What we should probably be doing first is actually filling up our, uh, oh, we gotta use, there we go. Filling up our generator over here. Oh, look at that. You can see the fuel gauge is actually filling. This is great. This is great. How much of this is it going to use? It might be pretty thirsty, dude. We might be uh, might be using the whole jerry can. Yep. There she is. Jerry can is officially bone dry. I want to check the front of this thing. Uh, let's see. Crouch. Okay. I'm trying to learn these key binds, you guys. I really am. There it is. And clearly see there's no more fuel left in that bad boy. So we'll screw on the cap and we are good to go for another day. Let's uh let's maybe let's maybe keep this in the truck. I, I would imagine there's another time we're probably gonna use that. And then the air pump, we can bring that right on over here. This is a foot pump by the looks of things. So we just need to get this like near the tire, maybe? I'm not sure. Not sure. Oh, we got to use it. Okay. And then that's all we have to do? Are you kidding me? Wait, what PSI do we need these boys at? 32? That's pretty typical. Okay, let's let's do 32. It doesn't say anywhere, does it? That's that's awfully strange. Come on, open up. There we go. Let's uh let's look in here see if it see if it says anything. It doesn't. Anywhere. None of these actually have Okay, what about Hang on. Is it is it gonna actually be like semi realistic? Let's uh, let's check inside. Nope, nope. I was really hoping there was gonna be like a tire sticker or something right there, but that is all right. It is gonna be complete and total guesswork unless there's like a, a manual in the glove. No, there's not not even a glove box. Okay. Alrighty then. So we are big winging it, dudes and dudettes. Big winging it. I'm gonna go with 32. 
And if that doesn't seem like enough pressure, worst case, we can up it to something else later on. You know what? Not a huge deal. Oh, and these actually look like they're studded tires, like winter tires, which is pretty neat. Makes sense, you know, living in Canada. There's probably some icy slick roads. There's 32. And the last tire, dude. We are done. Should we take the Bimmer over to uh, to Francis's? Or maybe, maybe we shouldn't do that. Because I'm pretty sure he had another task for us. We just have to talk to him for one and then sell firewood to him. Okay, so we need one log. We need literally one log. Doesn't even matter. Oh, we don't have an axe. We have a chainsaw. We have a chainsaw over here that is probably empty. It probably has no fuel in it. Oh, it's got a little bit. It's got a little bit. I don't see a fuel gauge on this thing, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Just this birch tree right here. Is this That's all you gotta do? Wow, talk about easy. Okay, and then this. That's it. That that is it. Okay, we we've got firewood now. Uh we do need to split it though. It's not technically firewood just yet. So let's go ahead and drop the chainsaw in here. Maybe this thing doesn't actually take fuel. Might be one of them electric, uh, in infinity electric chainsaws or something. I, I have no idea. It just says sell firewood. It doesn't say how much. So I'm going to take one of those bad boy billies. Does this thing need power? Hopefully. Oh, oh, oh. yep. It's got its own little tank there. Perfect. So let's get one of these birch logs and we'll put it right up on there. Right? Isn't that... Isn't that what we're supposed to do? It it don't really fit just right though, which is <laughs> which is probably problem. Let's okay, this is not this is not. It's not. It's just it's not. Do we have shorter ones? Are there some shorter boys over here? There Oh, here we go. This one's this one's a bit a bit fatter. Let's try that right there. That is the perfect width. Starter on up. Come on. It's probably empty. Oh my god, it's probably empty and we used literally all the fuel. We used all the fuel for the generator. Oh, this is, this is tragic. This is tragic. You know what? We do probably have enough time to head back into town and get, what, $5 worth of fuel? It's not hardly going to be anything at all. But at least we'll be able to finish the debut tasks. So, let's go ahead and do it. Well, I guess we'll see how much fuel we can actually put in this thing for five bucks. Nothing. Nothing, dude. It... Oh. Did you see... Did you see what it just said to us? Oh, my... That is just... It's too much. It's too much. But we got ourselves a 28% filled jerry can now, so we can officially head back home and hopefully get some split wood for our friendly neighborhood brother. You know, this thing is rear wheel drive. We should be able to do some some donuts in this thing, I would think. Maybe, oh, maybe not right here though. This is probably a bad spot to do it. Let's, we'll do it eventually. We'll do it eventually. I, I just don't think we have enough room to actually swing her around right here, but we can go ahead and turn the truck off for right now. We'll hop off, grab our jerry can and head on over to the log splitter, dude. Hopefully, hopefully this does it. Go ahead and fill her up with whatever we've got in there. Oh, there's some left even. How much left though? 13%? Okay, let's just leave that next to the generator. I'm sure we'll we'll need that again at some point. Get the uh, fuel cap screwed on there. Come on. Come on, I, I know you can do it. Did I put the wrong fuel in this? <laughs> That's probably not possible, is it? Come on, oh, there's a kill switch. Oh, okay, my bad. There we go. It might have actually had fuel in it from the get-go, and I'm just a ding-dong. But let's go around the back side here. It looks like there's a lever for us to pull, potentially. Nope. Not working. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Well, sweet. We've got one log. Let's grab the next. Oh, I've got you. Okay, we should probably do all of this while we have it running, right? Because on startup, that's where it's going to use... The most amount of fuel. Keep her going. Keep her going. We only have four logs left. Four logs left. And actually, this will be a good way for us to make some money 
right out the gate. I mean, we're broke. You saw what the, the gas station had to say about us. We are broke AF. So hopefully our brother Francis can give us a little bit of coin. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off. He can give us a little bit of coin for what little firewood we're going to be bringing over to him. But we'll close that on up, turn her over. And then I think if we just... Is there a third per... That's the spit. Yeah, okay. That's the spit keybind. Um, is there a third person option for this? I could have swore there was. Maybe, maybe I'm just not pressing the right buttons, but... We need to back on up over to the splitter. I'm, like, kind of looking in my mirror, doing the best I absolutely can. I think that is close enough. And then rip the e-brake. Perfect. All right, so let's get all the firewood now loaded up. Should be fairly straightforward. We're just going to have to be a little bit careful, a little bit more careful, I guess, when driving this over to Francis's place. Because as we learned, things kind of fly out of the, the tailgate here, the truck bed. It is definitely not the most secure place to be putting things. So we'll, we'll just something to keep in mind, you know. Just one last log, and we are... D Close, please. Please close. Oh, we've got stuff in front of the tailgate. There it is. Okay, and it looks like if we... Oh, we do have a little ball hitch. A little a little ball, I guess, on the, uh, on the bumper there. So it looks like we can actually sort of combine these two. We can take our, our operation, our, our firewood operation mobile if need be. So that, that may come in handy. But for right now, I think we have plenty for Francis. Uh, our maple syrup level is very, very low though. Let's actually hop out really quick and we'll go grab some of that, dude. You just, I mean, you can't get enough of maple syrup. It is so incredibly good. There we be. And then we do have some more frozen poutine up there in the in the freezer, but I think we'll be all right for food for now. So enough jibber jabber, dude. Let's get over to Francis's and uh, we'll see how much money he's gonna give us for all this. Oh my, the parking brake, dude, come on. Here's this T intersection here. So we just have to go a little past that to the right some more and there she is. Okay, now his driveway looked incredibly steep. Yeah, it definitely is. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this pretty slow in hopes that we don't lose any of this precious firewood. Oh, he's got a nice little truck too. Actually, I kind of like what he's rocking. That's looking pretty rad. And then it looks like this is maybe a drop zone for the firewood. So I'm just gonna pull real close up to this, put her back in a neutral parking brake, ignition off, and we are good. So let's go say what's goody to him. Oh yeah, place firewood here to sell. Okay, perfect. Let's go say what's goody though to our uh, to our big bro first. God, dude, his truck is rad. I've never even seen a truck like that. It kind of looks like, uh, like a Land Rover, but also a Ford Ranger put together. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. What is going on? Big bro. What's good? A bro without a face. Hate to see it. You really do. How is everything? Can't wait for summer. Each weekend I will go out camping for sure. That's great, dude. You got anything else to say or is that it? That might, that might actually be it okay well we have talked to him sounds like he's planning on doing some camping this summer which is good for him dude but for us we're in it for the money dude we're in it for all the marbles we need as as many monies as we can get plural because we gotta we got e36 to rebuild dude we got stuff to do oh can we we can jump oh my god i haven't even jumped in this game yet just a few more pieces of firewood to go Oh my god, dude, he's given us five bones for each piece of firewood. We're up to 90 bones. We're $10 away from what we started with, dude. That's incredible. I also, I'm really jealous of his house. It looks so much nicer than our, you know, piece of junk trailer that we're living in right now. Like, look at the A-frames up there. Good god. Francis is living lavishly and we're out here struggling. I guess that's why he's big bro, but, um... Now, I think now that we've finished all of the debut tasks, that is probably where we're going to wind down this episode at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.